The short presentation introduces the concepts of volatility and correlation using components from the corresponding e-learning module found under Optimal MRM's online training service. Volatility is represented by the Greek symbol sigma. It measures the dispersion of changes in value of individual risk factors such as rates, stock prices, and other risk factors. Most organizations use historical or ex post risk factor value changes. It would be ideal to use implied volatility, which is forward looking. However, not all risk factors have developed option markets. Correlation is represented by the Greek symbol rho. It describes the degree to which changes in different risk factors move in the same or opposite direction. Risk factor returns may be negatively correlated to one another uncorrelated, or positively correlated. Rho can range from negative 100%, perfectly negatively correlated, to 0%, no correlation, to 100%, perfectly positively correlated. In order to measure volatility and correlation, it is common to first express changes in the value of a given risk factor in relative terms. This is expressed as a function of the percentage change in prices or yield from one period to the next. The value of a given risk factor typically is assumed to change in a log normal manner. This means that if we took the natural logarithm of a series of changes in the value of a risk factor and plotted those changes on a chart, the resulting pattern would be the familiar bell shape known as a normal distribution. We can graph as a histogram daily changes in the S&P 500 for a 10-year period from 2000 to 2010. Note the approximate bell shape of the distribution of these changes in the S&P 500 over this 10-year period. A histogram of daily changes in two-year U.S. government yields reveals a similar bell shape pattern, albeit more widely scattered based on the magnitude of change. We can express the relative changes, the natural logarithm of yield or price changes, for any given risk factor in statistical terms. The standard deviation function provides a convenient and practical way to calculate volatility. Volatility, or sigma, is equal to the standard deviation of the natural logarithm of price or yield relatives. In Excel, the function Standard EV returns the standard deviation for a series of data. Excel provides a simple function, norms inv, for the calculation of the equivalent number of standard deviations without fat tail assumptions. For the purposes of computing 99% var under log normal distribution assumptions, norms inv of 99% is equivalent to 2.33 standard deviations. Kurtosis is a measure of the way in which risk factor returns are dispersed around an average return. A normal distribution has zero kurtosis. A high kurtosis distribution has fat tails. Risk factor changes do not occur in a normal way in the real world. This implies that a standard 2.33 multiplier of volatility for 99% VAR would very likely understate risk exposure, meaning that a higher multiplier than the standard 2.33 is required. The recent global financial crisis of 2007-2008 was a fat tail event for most organizations. Basel's subsequent regulatory changes, example stressed VAR, indirectly attempt to capture fat tails in risk measurement. The standard deviation formula implicitly assigns equal weights to all data points in the historical data series. Using the standard deviation formula to represent volatility can understate risk in times of heightened volatility and overstate it when volatility subsides. Exponentially weighted moving average volatility is a variation of the simple weighted moving average, where mu is the lawn of the price relatives and lambda is a constant factor between 0 and 1. EWMA 
applies exponentially decreasing weights as the series moves back in time. Based on consecutive two-year historical windows over an eight-year period from 2002, we can compare the historical volatility of the S&P 500 index calculated using the standard deviation method versus the EWMA method. Optimal MRM invites you to visit its store online to learn more about this and other available market risk e-learning modules.